Welcome back. With the rise of social media, many small businesses have had to change their operational strategies to adapt. Social media affects businesses of all sizes in several ways. Because of social media, businesses must make their brand more personal, market their products differently, and communicate with their consumers in new ways. So we want to hear what you are saying on this issue. Send an SMS to us on 081-803-84663 or please it's SMS only or you could send your tweet to us at Plus TV Africa or at Ways Show Africa 1 with the hashtag Ways. That's W-A-Y-S. We have a guest with us, Moses Chukudi Mogbolu is a top performing and result-oriented marketing communication professional with over 13 years of progressive and successful experience in telecommunications, manufacturing, educational and retail sector. He can be defined in five words. Hmm. Wait for it. Strategist, he's dependable, resourceful, he's an achiever, and he is an, an analytical. <laughs> I thank you so myself. much, <laughs> Moses, for joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, let's just jump right into, into it. it. Sure. Now, what are the simple mistakes people make when it comes to their businesses and marketing their businesses online using social media platforms? Thank you so much. I think when it comes to social media, first thing first is to ask yourself a question. Why am I on social media? The first thing I've observed over the years is many businesses that are on social media that are just there because either their competitors are there or their friends told them there's need for you to be there mm -hmm. and they just jump into social media. Before you go into social media, you must have your objective. Okay. Just like every business, you have to call business fundamental or marketing fundamental. Mm -hmm. Your mission, your vision, your core value must align with your overall strategy. Wow. So it's your strategy that determines whether will you be on social media or, or not. not. If you want to be on social media, what channel do you need to be active? Now, if I may come in there, the channels that you need to be active, what are the demographics that you're supposed to look at before you go into that channel? It's very important. You have to look at the demographic. You have to look at the products. What product are you selling? Mm -hmm. Who are you selling to? Where are you? Because the objective of social media majorly is for interaction. It's not really for business. It's for social, for, for the name social media. Mm -hmm. It's meant for relationship. Mm -hmm. So if I need to build a relationship, I need to build a relationship with my key stakeholders, with mm -hmm. my customers. And you are building a relationship with people that are not seeing you one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. So at that, at that point, trust is key. Okay. I tell people that at this age, we are the age of the truth. Mm -hmm. In traditional marketing, you can lie. Mm -hmm. In social media, it's very difficult. Yes. <laughs> wow, why and is that? Why? It's very simple. People don't know that, mm -hmm. for instance, let's take Facebook as a platform on social media. Yes. We are not the owner of Facebook. Facebook have a back end. Every information you, you decide to feed, feed. Facebook mm -hmm. is there. Mm -hmm. You may delete it on your own particular page, but, it's, but it's, it's, there. it's still there. So when people go to search, this information is going to pop up. Come up. Do you understand? Yeah. And there's what we call online review. Because people normally review what we are doing. Mm -hmm. And because we are the age of technology, mm -hmm. people don't normally ask questions again. Just ask Google. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Google will just dish out the information. Mm -hmm. I will know what about Google. Google has two major business. Mm -hmm. Show people relevant information and current information. Mm -hmm. If Google. I may come in there, if I may come in there, what is the difference between um, digital marketing and um, social, media. social media. Okay, let me, let, me, let me come in a way that people out there will understand. Okay. There's what to call foundation of digital marketing. Mm -hmm. There's what to call property of digital marketing. For you to understand how to make money and leverage social media to promote your business, you must first of all understand the properties of digital marketing. We okay. have only three major properties. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. We have occupied property, Hmm. Let me take an example in Nigeria. Hmm. Naira land is an example of occupied property. You are not the owner of property. occupied property. Okay. You are not the owner of the property, you are just there. You are borrowed. So the owner of the property is the moderator. Hmm. So even if you post on that particular platform, if the owner, for instance, let's say Naira, if she would decide that your post will not be on the front page, it will not be on the front page. Sure. Then you have what called rented property. Hmm. Instagram, 
Facebook, mm. LinkedIn, they're all, they are all rented. You are not the owner. Mm. You are, just take a, a practical example. You are in Lagos. Mm. You have not built your own house. Mm. You are on a rented apartment. apartment. Yes. You have right, but your right is also limited. If your landlord says... So I, I don't, I'm almost not getting the difference between rented and occupied. So Naira okay. Land... Occupy, yeah. occupy. Let me take myself as an example. Okay. I finished my NYC. Mm. I migrated to Lagos. Right. Mm. When I came into Lagos, mm -hmm. I stayed with my elder sister. Mm -hmm. At that point, I am just occupying, occupying the property. Right. It's not, I, I don't have a right. Well, if they, rent, if they, I don't pay rent. Right. If if the husband says don't come, don't come back by ten o'clock. Then mm -hmm. by ten o'clock, must be in your house. Right. Mm -hmm. By the time you rent your own house, you have certain, you have certain rights. rights. Certain mm -hmm. But yeah, your you. landlord is still the real owner of mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. right. okay. So from there, you have your own property. Mm -hmm. okay. Own property when it comes to digital marketing is your website, mm -hmm. your blog. Without okay. having your own property, mm. you are wasting your time. Thank you so much for media. that. <laughs> so it's because important recently, to have a blog. It's very important to have your yeah. own property. I think I will let Chinasa go, then I'll come yes, back. Please. Yeah. yeah, so uh, I'm going to take you back. So at the beginning, you said something about you, you can decide whether you want to be on social media. And I almost want to disagree with that. And the reason is because of the way the world is going and, you know, the, um, the revolution of technology. Um, technology mm -hmm. Like... Would you say that every company, irrespective of whether you want to, to what were those things you said again, to engage or interact, you need to be on social media just for the awareness? Because for me, like, if I'm going to check out any, and maybe I'm now mixing up social media and other, like the, the Occupy property or rented property or whatever, if I want people to know about me, then, or if I want to know about a company and think that they're really kosher, I want to check them out on Instagram or on some social media handle. So. You understand the question? Understand question. I understand the question. <laughs> it's, it's very important to be on the social media. But mm. what I said at the first thing is, okay. what is your objective? Your Do you understand? Okay. Mm -hmm. If your objective is not right, mm -hmm. being on social media, like you are going to work okay. the University of Columbus. Right. Mm -hmm. You are just going, you don't even know where you are going to. Mm -hmm. By the time you get there, you even know that you are even in that particular place. So on social media, I have three major objectives. Mm. Either you want to create awareness, mm -hmm. you want to engage with your people, or you want conversion. Mm -hmm. And at any point in time, your strategy must be simple and must focus on what? Can I Why? want all three? Why? I want I'll awareness. give you the reason. Why? Uh -huh. This platform, I said earlier, that rented property. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's a goal reading that already been set on that particular platform. Let's take Facebook, for instance. Facebook mm -hmm. knows everybody on the platform, true of us, because we're all registered on Facebook. Absolutely. Facebook knows people that normally comment. Facebook people that normally like football. Mm -hmm. Facebook people that normally like fashion. Mm -hmm. Facebook people that normally don't comment, but they always do. <laughs> do you understand? Yeah, so I if you decide to miss engagement and awareness, mm -hmm. you are confusing Facebook mm -hmm. on who they should show your advert to. Okay. Right. Do you get it? Okay. I'm happy you, you're bringing us there because recently there was a clampdown um, where Instagram. In fact, one of us here, one of our co-anchors, um, Sandra, account has account is currently yes. blocked. Mm -hmm. She just woke up and Instagram has blocked her account. And, I, and when I was doing a bit of research, I, I actually learned that it is important for anybody that has any serious business online to own their platform. Then you can now borrow your content to these other platforms mm. that you have mentioned, the Instagram, the Facebook, and all that. So where is the role of, you know, because a lot of people feel that, okay, when I use an influencer, it's automatic. So an influencer means just automatic, um, what's it called, Growth and it translates. Mm -hmm. How do you teach people to understand that? Come, this does not translate to Naira and Kobo mm -hmm. to your business. So even when you are selecting influencers and all that, you need to be careful. Because right now, um, Instagram, I think all of this clampdown they are doing, they are actually targeting influencers because influencers have been making a lot of money and More Instagram is not making the money. Do you understand? So mm -hmm. how do we educate the people? Because it is people that are making influencers make money. Exactly. So how do we educate people to understand that it is, I, I mean, using an influencer that has a million followers does not necessarily mean that to it will translate to narrow in my business to be, to be very frank I've been in this business for the past 10 years and I've advised many CEOs and mm -hmm. business owners the truth is for Nigeria mm -hmm. most business owners want to fail first before they learn wow it, it's funny <laughs> why but you I just, say I just, that I'm just, just telling you the truth because <laughs> why do you say why that why do I say that yes people take decision <laughs> not based on data 
Hmm. People take decision yeah. because my friend is doing this. Okay. Because, because of that, when you even tell them that this will not work, mm. it may work for your friend because it your friend business you. objective, mm -hmm. target audience, product may be different from yours. Mm -hmm. But because your friend, who is also influencer, was mm. able to be so engagement, you want to do the same thing. Yes. It's different thing. Absolutely. But mm -hmm. the truth is, if you use influencer very well, it adds up. There's what to call unity of engagement. If you can remember Obama Unity Hope campaign yes. in 2008, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. power of social media yes. is a typical case study. Mm -hmm. And if you check what Obama did, mm -hmm. on his platform was consistent. Mm. The influencer that was selected was tactical in mm -hmm. nature. Mm -hmm. And if you check the communication, it's consistent. So there's power of what we call consistency okay. in communication. Mm. In social media, you can't be a, 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 a business mm. championing social costs mm. and say that a business criticizing government. Okay. You have to balance your yes. business. Can I, 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 can I come in there? Th there is an issue I, I, I think we need to um, look at, okay? Before the advent of social media, we were using uh, traditional the traditional mm. uh, newspapers, newspapers yeah. TV and Radio. all that. Mm -hmm. So today, what do you think is the difference in social media, in um, technology and marketing? Has um, social media made an economic impact on, um, um, on businesses in Africa or Nigeria in general? In Nigeria in particular, if mm. you check the millennials these days, mm -hmm. those days, if you are working, your mm. employer threatening you, you can even kill yourself to stay on the job. <laughs> do you understand? Mm -hmm. But now, many millennials, they the day you make them to be angry, they will resign. <laughs> I'm a millennial. And it's true. They resign, they won't go hungry. Mm -hmm. Because there are a lot of businesses on social media. Okay. Talk of fashion, go to Instagram. Many mm. people are making money. Mm. They don't have a registered business, mm. but they're making money on Instagram. So, mm. so would, you, would you say that um, traditional media is um, fast fading fast. up? Yes. So the, the, the truth is, the truth is, the truth the truth is the role in marketing, mm -hmm. there's that power of integrated concept. Mm -hmm. For the fact that social media is what we call user content generation. Okay. Traditional media is under censor. Anything going on traditional media mm -hmm. has been monitored by the regulatory body. Okay. So in communication, we call the power of credibility. Mm -hmm. So why you use your traditional media to build right. credibility? credibility? You need that social media mm -hmm. to engage I'm more so people. I'm so happy you brought credibility so, because mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of businesses online mm -hmm. that they have no single portfolio. In fact, I was at a funding event where they had done everything. In fact, this business was just, it was just for the funders, the investors to just go and do due diligence mm. and they get there and nothing it, there was existed. absolutely nothing. nothing. So tell just, us, just what watch. is the right, because there's a lot, because we need to strike a balance. Because I hear, I hear you say millennials and I'm, and, and I'm you're 100% right. Mm. But I see a lot of people, they have no business doing businesses online, but they are posing to be business people and also defrauding people. So for, exactly. on the part of the people, mm. how, do you, how do you detect, detect of, that, yeah. uh, um, a, fraud, a, a, a fraudulent yeah. business not to transact with, that's one. Then mm. on the part of businesses, what is the right way? Mm. You know, if you have like two, three minutes, what is the right way to do your business online? Mm. What exactly would you say are the key pointers to look out for? Thank you so much. When it comes to online business, mm. I said earlier that we are the age of the truth. If truth. you are being defrauded, mm. the truth is that you didn't do your due diligence. Yeah. Only link single due diligence from Google and from the regulatory body, Google. you know that this must have some online reviews. And by the time you go through the reviews, you know there's a case that happened to one of my in law recent. Different stories, going to abroad, very, very good package. Okay. The salary they're going to pay him in Canada is very fantastic. He's ready to just resign and go. Mm -hmm. Immediately he told me, I said, before you go ahead, let me do my do you I just did it, I just sent you the the, the content. Wow. It's awesome. just thank God. Thank God. So, whenever you have information online, don't just take the decision. That's okay. right. Then, two, as a business owner, hmm. you want to really make your business to strive online. First thing first, have your own property. Facebook is not your property. 
Instagram is not your property. Yeah. They can block you any day. True. Wow. <laughs> so even if you don't have money to get a website, get a blog. Mm. What mm. whatever content you are putting on Facebook, make sure you have what called backlink okay. that will bring them back to your website. Mm. Because Facebook, we call them authority site. Right. The authority site. So whenever they give you a backlink to your website, Google will rank your website high. And the more oh. Google rank your website, the more visible you are online. Oh, yes. And one thing about Google, Google is so powerful to the sense that you understand internet behavior of many people. Mm. And when people go on search, let me say I just came into Lagos and okay. we are the best hotel in VI. Yeah. Mm. Is the hotel that Google shows me that you are the best that's hotel. That's true. So and by the time consumer. you are not using yeah. it very well, mm. you are bringing your business down. Yeah. Mm. That's one part. That's then the second part that every business owner must do. Please and please don't lie. <laughs> At this age, if you lie, you are killing your business. So that's bad publicity for your business already. Exactly. So okay. whatever you cannot deliver, if you know you deliver within 24 hours, Say you deliver. Say you graduate for us. Yep. Don't lie. They will give you six hours. <laughs> and another important thing is, in say, social media, we are all human beings. Yeah. Exactly. Make sure you treat the next person like a fellow human being. Don't yeah, claim yeah. to be perfect. If you claim to be perfect, they are going to dig the wrongs that you have done five years ago mm. and they will bring, bring it before you. So exactly. Well and some people don't understand that. Mm. That's why when you are going on social media, always okay. plan for the social media crisis. <laughs> crisis will surely come. Really there are yeah. a lot of companies that are really have made good money from them yeah. managing their crisis. But the truth is, I've saved them billions. Because when it comes to crisis, brand reputation, close down company. Mm. It's not like financial issue. Yeah. Yeah. And social media will make you to build a brand within five years. But that same brand can go down within five minutes. Five minutes, five minutes no Absolutely. matter how strong you are, yeah. it will wow. go down straight. That's wow. true. And That's most of these crises are caused internally. I have five major key causes of social media crisis. Hmm. But the majority of the problem is error of omission from your own part. Well, then, hmm. And once that is done, you can't lie about it. You have done it, you have done so it. So if I hear you loud and clear, we're talking to businesses out there. You must be 100% honest with your consumers, your customers. Okay. So due do diligence. your due diligence, diligence, you know, and also you don't have to have an expensive um, start. Okay. Uh, so you can just go with the blog because, you know, <coughs> Maybe that would be an aside gist, but the truth is, for what I wanted to do, I needed to build, you know, a proper website. And the cost thing, I, and I can imagine, I can relate with any business out there, the cost thing is actually quite high. It's Expensive. cheaper to go on all of the social, social media, media platforms. But, ones, yes. you know, like you've heard Moses said, you're it borrowing. is actually, it's, you are, you're borrowing is a rented space Probably and they can wake up. Yes, yes. so you must have a plan. I like the part you said, the back link, yes. where they can... Post Once you post back into your, 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 your stuff on those platforms, it takes them back to your sure. own um, platform. Uh, platform so you can now build your... So. But tell me, how easy is, um, it, um, is it for businesses, young businesses, to begin to build, um, what's it called, that database? To begin to build clientele, you know, is it something that if they are consistent for like three months, they see that traction, or they will still need people like you to help them in in that um, to build their their, right. their 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 following? As far as social media is concerned, mm. if your strategy is right, mm. you may not need anybody. Wow! But if your strategy is not right, you need help. <laughs> now the question is. I'm telling you this from the practical angle. I've met many business owners that will tell that I just opened my business, I want to sell on social media, and they want to start selling the next day. It doesn't work like that. I repeat it, quote me anywhere. It does. Let's, let's be practical. So let's give a realistic let's, target. Yeah, let's be practical. Mm -hmm. This is the first day I'm meeting you. Mm. And I want you to just be my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. There are some things that it does not just fit. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know, it's a social thing. I have to know you first. Well, let's you have to know me. Advocate. So there's all those small businesses that just go online and they're making so much money and there's, be, there's no strategy, clearly. Like, so let me give an example. People that sell hair, you just put a lot of pictures. And for someone like me who's always going to Instagram <coughs> to look for my, my um, vendors. Things to buy. I'm happy as long as I can see people's comments. So for me, it's like I can get first-hand um, feedback on the quality of your service. Or what's, so, and there's no strategy. But I understand that, that that's probably not sustainable. But in the meantime, it's bringing in the money. Have you seen? Have you seen when you ask them a question? How much is this hair? <laughs> See, chat me privately. I don't like that. <laughs> it's, 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 Why do they do that? Because they don't have strategy. The price, the price, the price. They don't have strategy. The price is different. Yeah. 
In social media, transparency is the key. Very key. Mm. How much? Tell the person the amount mm. on that platform. Let other people mm -hmm. see, see it. it. One person asking you how much can give you five or that six. That's true. Very Do you understand? Yeah. So for the fact that you see that some people are selling now, mm -hmm. does not mean that business will survive the next five Absolutely. years. Exactly. Exactly. If you check their growth pattern too, yeah. you see it. But the normal strategy of social media, mm -hmm. you are new there, mm -hmm. build awareness. Okay. Let people know you for know something. You. Mm. After they have known you, you create engagement. Mm. And once when there's engagement, yeah. why this is very important? Because online business is about trust. Yeah. Once I engage with you, mm. you trust me. Absolutely. Anything I push, you buy it. So at what point oh. do you think you on now the, say, on, okay, I've built awareness. On, on the average, now I on the average, can three now months. engage. Oh, the average, three three months. Months. So we'll leave it. <laughs> on the average, three months. We're going to leave it there. Thank you so much, um, Moses. I think mm -hmm. we need to bring you back because Absolutely. there are too many to there are too many things that you know one can just can just begin to you know plug in when it comes to our personal businesses. Mm -hmm. You know, thank you so much for coming. Yes. Thank, thank you for honoring us. To learn about the occupy yeah. rented owned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Okinawa Dari joins us after the break.